Conference Europe. So, and always I associate Europe as the place uh, where I can develop, for instance, where I can find out more and when I can deepen my knowledge as well. I can see here in Europe, like young people, ha they have more space for education in a different way. And here I'm talking not so much about quality, but about system, like informal way and in an informal way. How here, like uh, also in Rondine, in uh, Italy, I saw how I can um, exchange and express myself in a, a more different way. There's a need to put this diversity at the forefront of, uh, of, uh, of the European discussion. It's on the backdrop of this that we can then have a conversation on what Europe is going to become. Uh, unfortunately, uh, even though Europe uh, includes a lot of countries and it's not only those ones, uh, not all of them are equally, uh, how to say that, equally developed. They don't have equal rights and equal opportunities. Uh, that's for me, uh, even though they are all united by the same values and the same ideas of peace and uh, inclusiveness. Unfortunately, they don't have the same, um, I would say that, the same um, level uh, of inclusiveness. Um, that while we need to make a lot of changes in education, um, clearly education can help set us on the right path by strengthening our common humanity, supporting the dignity uh, and capacity of, of individuals, also communities, um, by building up shared purpose uh, and capabilities for collective action. But anyway, the importance to move from influence to dialogue and uh, to make use of education in a wider sense, as you said, education of awareness, education of change, of dialogue and of respect.